One of the things that we have been doing in my research group is asking ourselves, how do different people's preferences impact the way that they make decisions? Along with my colleague, Alex Davis, we have been leading a student, Christine, to look at how can we recover different people's preferences? Because these people's preferences are going to impact the different decisions that we see coming in the electricity landscape, but even just in our everyday lives. So let's start with the everyday life example. If I was gonna to go to the grocery store and I wanted to just buy something for dinner, then what I would buy would depend on my preferences for vegetables that day, maybe carbs, maybe I'm on a keto diet. And then as I'm leaving the store, the different goodies that they have at the front of the counter may actually get me based on my preference for sweets at that time. Now, if we think about this in the electricity landscape, a person's preference for the environment might impact the, how much wind and solar they're willing to invest in, but also their preference for different reliability technologies might impact how much solar they invest in, how much baseload technologies like nuclear and natural gas they're willing to invest in, and the overall electricity system that they're willing to build. Now, Christine's work is vital in understanding people and how their preferences impact decisions because she has been building different models that can recover people's preferences and looking at the accuracy of these models. I do work in the field of uh, preference and consensus modeling, which is um, within the realm of uh, behavioral science. And my work, I am trying to capture how different people um, make different choices. So I'm using active learning, which is a subset of machine learning methods to um, estimate how um, people make these kind of choices and um, the functional form of what goes into their mind while um, given the preferences that we have already gone out of them. And we want to contextualize this work in the field of energy policy and really understand how we can make better recommendations for um, people in terms of um, energy policy. Now, it's all good and well to say we want to integrate people's preferences into modeling, but if we don't do that accurately, we may actually end up making ourselves worse off. So we hope that this work will be able to inform different decision makers about the ways that different groups will be able to make decisions, also provide some accuracy and some robustness checks on different types of modeling that people are using to try to recover these preferences, and then provide an avenue to understand how all of the different preferences that people have about the technologies they like, the things that they value, how those things will fit into the energy planning landscape and have some idea about what this means for the electricity system of the future.